Hey guys, what's up? It's Christine Seal, the High Level Queen, and today I'm going to show you guys how to add a domain into your high level website or funnel. So let's get started. Okay, so first I'm going to show you guys how to add the website into your funnel. Okay, so step one, you want to open your funnel and click on settings, and you're going to see this domain here. If you already added your domain, all you have to do is select it here and you'll be good to go. If you haven't done that yet, click on add and edit domains. And then we're going to click on add a new domain. Okay. You're going to want to copy this to your clipboard. And here you're either going to put your C name, which would be uh, 123.mydomain.com. Okay. Or you are going to put your root domain. So if you had a website, this can be more likely that you want it to be the root domain. Uh, and in that case, you'd put www.mywebsite.com. Okay. So I'm going to do 123.christineseal.com. And I've got this copied on my clipboard. And then step two is I want to create that DNS record. So I'm going to go over to my registrar. This could be GoDaddy. This could be Ionos. This could be Bluehost. This could be anybody. And you're going to go into your DNS settings. If you need to pause it and go find that. Oh, good. But I'm in my DNS settings and I'm going to click on add a record. Okay. Then I'm going to click on C name because that's what I'm doing. I'm going to put one, two, three. So it has to match this. Okay. Then I'm going to paste my link here in here points to that's the URL that it's pointing to. That's the host. Okay. Click on save. And this could take between 24 to 48 hours to propagate, which just means to go through all the servers in the world. Okay. It's, it's uh, quite fascinating how it works. So I'm going to go ahead and click add. Don't be impatient. It's not always instant like this. Okay. Uh, but when it works, you're going to see this message. And here is where you are going to pick your funnel. Now let's be clear. This is the funnel that you are linking to this domain. You have not yet linked the funnel step. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to do the funnel and then it's not going to work at the root level until you do this third thing. Okay. So click link domain and then step three, if you want it to be the root of that link, which just means that I can go type in one, two, three dot Christine .com and it's going to work. I'm going to show you what happens. It's going to spin and spin and spin. And you're going to be like, Oh my God, why doesn't this work? Christine. I just tied my funnel to my website. You can see it right here. It doesn't work. Oh, but look what happens if I click this arrow and I have the opt-in step at the end, it will magically start working and boom, it worked. Well, why didn't this work? Why does it say 404? You also need to go back into your settings, your domains and look, see this root page. You have to pick that as well. Okay. Unfortunately, you have to kind of do it twice, but now you can refresh and it works. Cool. Right? Okay. For a website, same kind of thing. And I'm going to do a quick website and show you how to do the domain. I've already got it set up, so it shouldn't be that hard. Uh, settings, domain, boom, just like that. Click save. Now, again, if it's a website and you want to tie it to the root domain, all you're going to do is put in www. And then when you're in your host records, you are going to make sure that you do www here. Okay. No dot. Sorry. Some hosts you have to put the dot, some you don't. 
and then the link here. And then it'll show you what that's going to look like down here in the preview if you have Ionis anyway. And then you click on save and that's how you do the website URL. Okay. So I hope this helps you guys to set up a domain in a funnel or a website. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't, so you don't miss any future videos from me and I'll see you guys next time.